guys, welcome back to Sparky Face 5. Today we'll be unboxing this box and what's inside here is a Anycubic Colossal Delta printer that Gearbest have sent me to assemble and review for you. I've got a monitor in case he wakes up and uh, I couldn't find my box cover so today we're using a scraper. First impressions of the box looks good. Oh yes, it's nicely packed. Manual. Excellent. Roll filaments. PLA black natural. One kilo. That's good value, look at this. Six amp power supply. Cable looks very thin. And I'm going to need an adapter because it's moulded in. But I like that it's a separate power supply, that it's self-contained. You don't have to wire any mains power up to it. It has a glass plate and a BuildTac-like surface, similar to BuildTac. A acrylic filament spool holder. And the rods. The rods look like carbon fiber. That's interesting too. So the box came really well packed. Um, all the extrusions were clean. I had no problems with metal filings such as Preston did on his review. Everything was labelled really well and it was beautiful. And oh, an unmarked, an unmarked SD card of unknown value. Well, that's interesting. So I pulled everything out of the box and laid it all out nice and neat. Everything was labelled so there was no issues there. And the instruction manual was very clear, step by step. And uh, off we go. Even with all the distractions that I had during the day, cats, babies, cats, husband, I managed to get the build done in a total of approximately three to three and a half hours. Mini Sparks decided to give me a hand and uh, it went a bit slowly at that point but it was good fun. The instructions for the wiring was also very clear and I had no problems understanding the instructions or wiring anything up. And now that's all done. It's all built, ready to assemble. Time to turn it on for the first time. Fingers crossed, no blue smoke. Yes. Review video coming soon. Ciao.